Welcome to Will at Work, I'm Kevin. Today we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle for the City. It's a plug and play system. Very similar to the ones we've seen from Jack Specific, Excalibur Games, MSX, etc. Uh, the, the interesting thing though is that this one was created by a company called Tech2Go, with the number 2 being the 2. So Tech 2, go. And as far as I can tell, this is the only uh, plug-and-play game that they released. Uh, now we know we have looked briefly before at Jack Specific's Hero Portal for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, this is um, different than that, of course, and it's not made by Jax. It, it seems to be made by tech to go. Now, a lot of times when you see things like this, you tend to have a Japan, uh, Chinese uh, manufacturer company slaps their brand on it and they sell it, you know, as one thing and then if you look around enough you'll find it somewhere else being sold under a different brand name or generic from the Chinese manufacturer. But this one seems to be uh, uniquely exclusive to uh, this company. You know, I'm not sure if it was made in the United States. I probably don't think it is. Uh, but um, it, you know, I haven't seen this form factor before and it was just like a one and done kind of thing. I don't know if it didn't sell well or not. Uh, it's not particularly uh, common. There's only one last I checked on eBay. They wanted about forty dollars for it before shipping, uh, so it's um, it's not too common to, to run into one of these. But maybe it was expensive and nobody wanted it at the time. I don't know. I think it's like a two thousand three, so it came out in the right time window for these sorts of things. But we'll switch over to the video side and we'll take a look and we'll see what what uh, what it's all about. Here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Got a little cartoon. Ah, uh, what is it? Donatello. Which was it? Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael. Uh, I can't remember everybody's name been so long since I've paid any attention to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It looks pretty good. Plays all right for a kid's little platformer-ish game. Can't see any harm in this one. Surprisingly, it comes with stereo audio plugs, which none of these other ones ever have had. They're always usually in mono. And, uh... decent. It's, it's unusual that there's only this one game made by this company, though. I mean, that's as far as I'm aware. Although, they're not the only company that made, like, one or two games. And maybe they tested out the waters with one, and maybe the numbers weren't what they were expecting them to be. start back at the beginning. Oh, that sucks. Alright. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't have the uh, patience. 